In this video, I'll show you how to perform out of forearm high block. If you haven't watched my previous video on inner forearm middle block, I suggest you watch it because many of the principles for high block are going to be the same, but I won't be going in as much detail in this video. A high block is used to protect against an attack to your neck and areas above. I'm going to be showing you how to do an outer forearm high block. The outer forearm is the first third of the forearm measured from the wrist to the elbow. The block will have a twist in action like this because we're using the outer forearm. Remember with inner forearm it twisted the other way. So practice twisting outwards like this and it's better to practice with two arms at first so we can help develop the muscles in the forearm. So start off slowly and then start doing it sharper as we go along. Okay, so make sure that the wrist is kept straight so avoid bending it back like this. And when you've practiced that a few times, practice with one arm only and pull the opposite fist to the hip. So whenever you use this reaction arm in this way, you always twist this way. So the arms will be twisting in opposite ways like that. So start off slowly and then develop more speed and power. Make sure you twist both wrists at the same time. And the blocking arm will start on top whenever you use outer forearm. Remember the inner forearm started underneath in the previous video. As we're doing high block, the arms will start quite high. So the arm will be more on the inside, closer to you. So practice this a few times and then practice on the other side. Now let's look at the block in more detail by going into a walking stance and practicing from there. Firstly, relax the body and go into a neutral position so your fists are in front of your chest and bend all your joints so your body's relaxed and your body will drop at this stage. Now wind up for the block by bringing the fist back of the blocking arm, swing it back and the opposite arm goes forward. The palm of the blocking arm will be facing towards your face and the palm of the opposite hand will be facing down. So you move them in opposite directions, your body will raise at this stage and then you drop sharply as you execute the block. So practice this movement slowly at first. Notice that you relax, swing back, and then push forward in a fluid motion and your body will drop slightly, come up and then down. So practice this a few times and then do it sharper. And the fist should end up at eye level and the elbow should be bent 45 degrees. The outer forearm will line up with the center of the shoulder. And keep the body half facing so that the outer forearm and the shoulders form a triangle. Now we're ready to move on to doing it as a spot block, starting from parallel ready stance, moving into walking stance. From parallel ready stance, bring the weight onto your right foot and pivot it outwards slightly so your body's already half facing. Your body will drop at this stage. Then start winding up for the technique as you go forward and drop sharply as you step into walking stance, executing the block. So do all this in a fluid motion and utilize breath control. To breathe correctly, breathe in as you relax and wind up for the technique, and then breathe out as you execute the technique, and breathe out sharply. It's rather like blowing out a candle. If you breathe out slowly, it's not gonna do anything. You breathe out sharply, and imagine the candle's far away, so you have to breathe out even sharper. And this will help activate the muscles, especially in your abdomen. So this helps with core stability. The block, the reaction, the stance and the breath should all finish at the same time. So avoid doing something like this. That's completely mistimed. Also notice that your body will drop slightly, raise and drop sharply at the end. This is what we call sine wave. 
I will be describing sine wave motion in great detail in a series of videos dedicated to that subject alone, because it's a very misunderstood subject in Taekwondo. But we'll leave it for now. A way of getting power in your technique is to use a jerking movement from your abdomen, just as I described with inner forearm middle block. So it's a very short, sharp movement and it helps to add more mass to the block. Like that. So try to utilize that as well. Now we're ready to perform 10 outer forearm high blocks as a spot block, starting from parallel ready stance, moving into walking stance. So let's do it alternating sides. Hana. Tul. Set. Ne. Tase. Yase. Ilgo. Yadol. Aho. Yal. And that's out of forearm high block. So in my next video, I'll be showing you out of forearm low block. And before I go, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers since my last video. And to all my subscribers, I'd love to hear from you, get your feedback. So contact me either by leaving a comment or by Facebook, for example, or by my website. So I'd love to hear how you're getting on with your training and if you have any questions for me or suggestions for further videos. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,